Hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna to be talking about uh, blockages inside of your barrel. Uh, I got this question the other day of how to remove any object that's blocking your barrel. Uh, so I'm just gonna be showing you on a 1911 pistol. Um, so what you're gonna do is if you can still operate the slide, you're gonna pull the slide back, inspect the chamber, make sure that the chamber is clear of any live rounds. Now, if you have a live round in the chamber and that's what you're trying to clear and you think it's unsafe to shoot, just be extremely careful uh, when handling it. Make sure you keep the firearm always pointed in a safe direction um, and never put your finger on the trigger while you're doing this. So for a 1911, we're going to pull the slide back, move that out of the way. You're just going to take your lower receiver set that down then you're gonna take uh <clears throat> take your thumb push down on the front and remove the bushing pull your slide spring out remove the rod now you can pull your barrel out all right so we got our barrel out i'm gonna take that off all right, so let me get, I'm gonna grab an empty casing just to show you. All right, so right here we have an empty 45 casing. Nothing in it. You can see the barrel is clear. So I'm just going to slide this into the chamber. So we'll just say that you have that stuck in the chamber. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a dowel rod you're going to set the dowel rod through the barrel. Now, since it's gonna be stuck, you should set this in a vise between two pieces of rubber so you don't damage the barrel. But then you're just going to take a hammer or a punch hammer and just tap and get the blockage out of the barrel. So whenever you're just pounding on it, it's just going to push it right out of the back. But you can do that with anything. So. Um, if it is a hard blockage that's really tough to get out, you'll probably want to get a dowel rod that's just slightly smaller than the diameter of the barrel and whatever caliber you're using. If it's in millimeters, literally just go with one millimeter smaller or inches if you don't understand how the rating works for a caliber. Uh, if it's 0.223, that's 0.223 inches. So find a dowel rod that's just slightly smaller than that. Um, that way it gets some sturdiness to it. Just pound it out and that's clear blockage. Then you can just put your gun back together, but that's it. Pretty simple.